Hello, beautiful one. My name is Faith Hunter, and I am so delighted to bring you a short yoga practice for releasing tension as well as letting go of any stress through your lower back and your hips. Now, our hips, that sacral area right there below our navel, right, really, really holds a lot of physical as well as emotional tension and stress. These simple movements will assist you in finding a little relief and also creating a little more creativity, a little more sensuality, a little more ingenuity, and aids you in opening a pathway for abundance to flow in. So let's get started. We're going to begin in a cross leg position and I want the backs of your hands to rest on your legs so the palms are facing up. Close your eyes or cast them down and just feel a softness come upon your shoulders Feel the crown of your head rise towards the heavens as your hips ground into this earth. And I want you first to take a couple of slow, easy, long and expanded breaths in and out of your nose to set the tone for our practice today. As you take these easy breaths in and out of the nose, I want you to think about where you feel a little trapped or stuck, not just in your physical body, but maybe you're trapped somewhere in your mind, right? There is a negative loop that's going and you want to stop it. Maybe there's something a little heavy on your heart and our heart and our hips are deeply connected. So if you're feeling it in your heart, you're feeling it in your hips. I want you to think about what you need to release. I know that through these movements, through the breath, you are going to leave it on the mat. You're going to let Mother Earth take care of it as you intentionally find more openness in your hips and lower back. Take a deep inhale through your nose and take a nice big sigh out of your mouth. <sighs> and then begin to open your eyes. We're gonna start with some Sufi grinds. So the legs are still crossed. You're just gonna start to make big circles with your upper body, but we're stimulating that Kundalini energy from the base of the spine. So you're gonna inhale chest forward, spine to the right, round the back, and spine over to the left. Nice big circles, inhale forward, exhale back. I'm going to take about three more of these. And after that third final one, come back to center. Sweep the arms high overhead. Reach through your fingertips. And then as you exhale, take a gentle twist to your right. You're going to drop the right hand behind you, left hand to your knee. We're going to hold here for a couple of long, deep breaths in and out of the nose. Shoulders are relaxed and know that if you want to gaze over your right shoulder, feel free to do so. Yeah, so do what feels right for you. Now slowly bring your body back to neutral, returning to center. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and then we have it all on the other side. So if you want, you can switch the crossing of your legs, yeah? <clears throat> And then start to take those same big circles here. Keeping those hips grounded in the process. And return to center, breathe in, reach those arms high overhead, and then exhale, take your twist, strapping your left hand behind you, right hand to your knee. Let the head go wherever it feels comfortable for you. Mm. 
One more breath. And then bring your body back to center. You're gonna take both legs, give them a little shake. So just kind of shake them out a little bit. And then bend the knees once again, bring the soles of your feet to touch. And you're creating a little diamond shape with your legs with the soles of the feet touching. Your hands are going to wrap around your shins or your ankles, wherever you can reach. And we're gonna find a little spinal movement here, but you also will feel the pelvis shift in the process. So it's like a little cat cow seated. Inhale, chest forward, exhale, round. And so again, just thinking about what you need to let go. And each time you exhale, just let it fall off. Let it peel off. Let it fully release from your body. Allow those Areas that are trapped in your life. Feel that water starting to flow through it as you move. The second chakra is water. A few more. And last one. Inhale back to center, breathe in, hold. Spine is long, shoulders are relaxed. Keep holding the breath, keep holding the breath if you can. And then exhale slowly out of your nose. All right, now you're gonna take those legs, extend them out in front of you, maybe flex or point those feet a little bit, and then open the legs wide. We're gonna stay seated, by the way, for this practice, just in case you didn't know. Okay, so the legs are wide. Toes are pointing up towards the ceiling, and you're just gonna lean into your left leg, yeah? So let the left rib cage float out and over the left side. The left hand can rest right there on your left shin. You can grab your left foot. And even while that foot's there, if you can reach it, you can give your left foot a little massage. And you have the option to sweep the right arm over your head. Now, as you sweep the right arm over your head, keep the right shoulder relaxed. Center of your chest and belly are forward, and maybe the chest is lifting up a little bit. Keep that right hip grounded. Feel that lateral stretch to the side body. One more breath. Slowly begin to lift yourself up. Pause. Maybe even move that rib cage a little bit, shaking it out. And then we're gonna go right over to the other side. So lean into that right leg, right hand, rest on the shin, grabs your right foot and whenever you're ready, sweep that left arm up and overhead, left palm facing down, chest is open. Both feet are flexed. So be mindful not to let those toes roll in. Keep those toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And let's take two more breaths here. And then slowly, 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 slowly begin to lift up. Again, move if you need to. Rock it out. Mm, just kind of feel that release to the side body. I'm going to take another deep breath in, exhale. All right, draw those legs together, lean back. And then the knees are bent. The soles of the feet are on the floor, and if you want to turn to the side, or actually I'll turn to the side for you guys, you're going to drop your hands behind you. Your fingers are going to move in towards your hips, and you're just simply going to swing and windshield wiper those legs from right to left. And in the process, try not to round your back, but keep your chest lifting. It's this knee swing. You're still breathing deeply in and out of your nose, yeah? All right, let those knees drop all the way over to the right. I'm just gonna hold here. You're still kind of leaning back a little, but the chest is still open. One more breath. 
And then swing those knees all the way over to the other side. Same thing. One more breath. And then bring everything back to center. Lift your upper body, extend those legs out, give them one more little shake. All right, we're going to make our way onto our backs for this next posture. And um, I'm going to actually give you a couple of options. So if you want to stay seated and then cross your left ankle over your right leg, keep lifting the chest. This is a perfect option. The other option is to start to lower down onto your back. Lift the feet up, right? So your left ankle is crossed over your right thigh, knee. You're going to draw your legs in towards your body. Your hands can interlace, right? Right there behind your right hamstring. This is a good spot. But you can also opt to let that right leg fall as the left knee comes in. And then you can cradle it. Ooh, yeah. So you have options. You have options. I just want you to breathe, babies. Just want you to breathe. Mm. Don't worry. We we'll only have about six more breaths here. Make sure that left foot is flexed, regardless of which shape you are in. One more breath. Still on our backs. So just going to take that left leg, reach it all the way up. Slide your hands around your hamstring or grab your left calf muscle. And just kind of rotate your ankle a little bit. Flex and point your foot. And then we have it all on the other side. So remember, you have stages. You can uh, cross that right leg over your left thigh and like hang out right here. This is totally perfect. You can also start to lean back. And do a nice little thread the needle, sliding your hands behind your left hamstring. This totally works. Or begin to cradle your right leg as the left leg falls for your variation of a nice reclined kind of pigeon here. It's totally like a chill pigeon. He's just like lounging pigeon. Let your thoughts and your minds go to what it feels like once you've let go of some of that energy. How does your life feel more fluid? Are you feeling a little more creative, a little more innovative, feeling a more, a little bit more free? What does that look like? What does that feel like? Let's take three more breaths. And then slowly begin to take your right leg, extend it up towards the sky. Same thing here. You can slide your hands around your hamstring, your calf muscle. Rotate that ankle, flex or point the foot, whatever feels right for you. And then once you're all done, bend both knees in and then give them a little shake, right? Just kind of like, ah, let it all go. Boom, 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 boom. Release, release, release. And then you can roll over to one side or you can rock yourself back up. <sighs> and then come back to seat, sit, and then come back to sit. And so from here, we're going to take one more posture. We're going to do log pose, right? This is where you might need this blanket or pillow. And so your left shin is going to come parallel to the edge of your mat. You're going to flex that left foot. Then you're going to draw your right leg up. And if you want, you can give it a little squeeze. You're going to stack the logs. So 
your right shin is going to stack on top of your left. There may be some space between your right knee and the left foot. Both feet are flexed, but if you need that extra prop, that's where you're going to grab your blanket or your pillow and place that underneath your knee. Now, one thing I always like to add is that I like to bring my hands right there by my hips, lift my hips up, keep the shins in place, draw my hips back, ooh, just a little bit, and then sit back down. It feels so good. Now we are not gonna take a forward fold unless you want to, right? You can always lean forward and fold and feel that. But I'm gonna encourage you to stay seated and find some stillness. Let the backs of your hands rest on your leg or foot. Spine is long. And we're gonna take easy breaths in and out of the nose. And then when you're ready, start to open your eyes, slide your props out of the way, gently lean back, unravel those legs, give them another little shake if you need to, as do this juiciness all on the other side. So again, the right shin is parallel to the edge of your mat, the right foot is flexed. You're gonna take that left leg, lift it up, you're stacking shin on top of shin. So that means that the left ankle is gonna land somewhere over by the right knee. The right knee is gonna come gently under or above the uh, right ankle. And if you need that prop, you can place it there. If you don't, it's all good. I kinda like having that. It feels nice for some support. And then once the legs are in position, Take your hands right by your hips. Keep the shins in place. You're just gonna lift the hips up just a little. Draw them back a hair. Sit back down, yeah, sit back down. And so for those of you that do wanna hinge forward, hinge from your hips, keep the hips riding back. But again, I'm simply opting to sit tall, find stillness, the palms are facing up and open, right? Being in that place of receptivity as you find openness and fluidity in your hips. Mm. Keep reaching the crown of your head towards the sky, shoulders are soft. Just allow yourself to be in the essence of this posture knowing that you are creating space you're finding a little more freedom and just feel those hips opening as water pours through you Now take a deep breath in, exhale slowly, start to blink the eyes open, they're still closed, just gently blink them open, slide your props to the side, gently, gently unravel those legs, give them another little mm, shake, and then find a cross leg position, sit up tall. 
And you're just gonna lean into that right side once again. Sweep that left arm up and overhead, send the chest open and breathe here. Easy breaths in and out of the nose. And gently come back to center. Go right over to the other side. Lean into the left. Right arm reaches up and over. One more breath. So we're gonna move into a little forward fold for our final little chill, right? So the soles of the feet are gonna come together. Sit up tall, knees are bent. You can stay right here just as we did earlier and just be, and find a little meditative moment here or you can start to lean forward keeping the hips riding back. And so it's not about getting your chest there. Actually, I don't want you to like round. I want you to extend your heart forward as the hips draw back. And we're only gonna take about five breaths here in this forward fold. And then slowly begin to lift your upper body, keeping the soles of your feet touching. Rest your hands on your legs, palms face up once again. Closing your eyes or simply gaze at a spot out in front of you. allow yourself to be feel and experience know that what you have done on this mat today in this moment it's about opening and finding a little more fluidity not just on a physical level but emotionally and spiritually And take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth this time. And slowly begin to open your eyes, draw those legs in, find your cross leg position one more time. And then place both hands right below your navel, right at your second chakra. And just say thank you. Thank you to yourself for showing up and cultivating a little more fluidity in your body, your mind, and your soul. Have a great day. Take care. Ciao.